Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making a desk organizer. In order to do that, the first thing we're going to do is change the name of our project to My Desk Organizer. And simply to get started, we are going to look at the basic shapes that Tinkercad has to offer for us and move on to selecting one. In this case, I'm going to drag and drop a box and scale it out, bring it to about 80 by 138 millimeters and make the height two millimeters now that the height is appropriate this is going to be the part where i add all the different sections of the organizer and make it distinct so i'm going to add rectangles uh some some squares and circles different shapes um but to check section off the different parts of my organizer so where pencils would go um, post-it notes different papers and whatnot and once I'm satisfied with that maybe add a circle and making sure that this is the negative space that I'm dragging over dragging over the negative space and making sure that it goes through the entire part of my shape now once everything is selected I'm going to control a control G to group them and you'll notice the changes have taken effect and it is already looking organizer-esque but because there is an empty space in the bottom of our object it's time to add the base now to add the base what we're gonna do is drag over another one of our boxes but make sure it's the same scale as our shape that we just built previously we're going to drag it over just to confirm and align each corner of the shape to our newly made rectangle. Now you can scroll across just to confirm and look to see that everything has been accounted for and you'll see that you have an organizer. So you can use this to store a bunch of things. I'm going to add more depth to the base, make it about five millimeters in height. But overall, this is a solid organizer for you to store different trinkets, uh, items for your creations. And you can also store some 3D prints in here maybe. It's all up to you. But you created this and feel free to alter any parts of the design, add anything to make it your own, whether it be your name or other objects that are unique to you. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.